Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the three G's, grace, gratitude, and generosity. I'm Ashley, and I'm not usually on this side of the camera, uh, which is, I prefer to be on the other side, hearing other people's stories and experiences and learning from them. But every now and then, uh, Kathy and T will encourage me to share my story and my experiences. And I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to express my gratitude to all of you. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about what it means to find yourself in unexpected places. And oftentimes those unexpected places can be the ones that are most shaping. For me, RPUCC has been one of those places. I don't know that I ever thought I was going to work in a church before I started here. After what I thought was my dream job in a human rights organization, I was feeling pretty burned from working experiences. I was at a loss and didn't think that there was going to be a place where I felt my values reflected. And I started just looking generally for opportunities for me to use my skills, which is how I came across RPUCC. In the middle of the pandemic, when there was a need for lots of communication and communication and technology related skills, um, I was excited for the opportunity to do live streaming. But what I didn't realize was I was going to find a place that did all the things that I had been looking for all along. All of these things I see in each and every one of you, and they're so unique and beautiful. I see the ways in which people dedicate time to doing blood drives and food banks and helping each other with various needs. And even so much so where the kindness is so often extended to me and people are stopping to express that, that just kind spirit, generosity in a way that I had never experienced before. In my faith journey, I started to hear messages that were directly against my values of, um, particularly with LGBT and social justice related issues. And that was hard for me and so I started to fall away from my faith. I knew that I was still spiritual, I still believed that there was a higher power, but I had such a hard time trying to connect that it just didn't make sense to me how people who said that they were for love, but didn't actually put that in practice. So when I came here and saw people actually practicing what they were saying, it has been one of the most healing things for me. And I don't feel as lost anymore. So I wanted to thank you and express my gratitude for being a part of my journey and taking the time to value me and accept me. And I hope you all know how much I value and appreciate you because I think those are the things that really build, um, really build our community. And I also hope that if you're faced with an unexpected path, like I was at the, before I came here, that you embrace it because it's that path that can be the most shaping. I just hope that you know that it's your path and you're on your way. Thanks for watching and like and surprise. Subscribe. That's what T would say.